Hey, good morning to everybody. Now we are going to discuss about metallurgy lesson. Okay. Now we are going to discuss about metallurgy lesson. What are the objectives of this lesson? Means that means after completion of this video lesson, you would be able to know characteristics of metal, distinguish between metals and non-metal. Definitions of ore, gang, flux, slag. Next, concentration of ore. Next, fourth flotation. Methods of extraction of crude metal. Those methods are roasting, calcination, smelting. Next, alloys. Purpose of making alloys. Composition of brass, German silver, nichrome, stainless steel, and duralumin. Okay. Mainly in this video lesson, we discuss about characteristics of metal, distinguish between metals and non-metal. Next, definitions of ore, gang, flux, slags with examples. Next, concentration of ore. In the concentration of ore, we discuss the method is worth flotation. Next, extraction of crude metal methods. First one is roasting. Next, calcination, smelting. Next, we also discuss about alloys, purpose of making alloys, composition of brass, German silver, nichro, stainless steel, and duralumin. First, we discuss about introduction of metallurgy. Already, we know that around 150 metals, 150 elements are there in the periodic table. So, these elements are primarily classified into two types one is metals another one is non-metals okay elements are primarily classified into two types one is metals and another one is non-metals majority of elements are metals in the periodic table okay in the periodic table four types of elements are there one is s block elements Another one is P block elements, another one is D block elements, another one is F block elements. Listen, in the periodic table, meta elements are classified into four types S block elements, P block elements, D block elements, and F block elements. Among these, except P block, remaining all block elements are metals. Except P block, Remaining S, D, F block elements are metals in the periodic table. Okay, metals play an important role, we know that, in industries as well as in biological fields. Okay, metals play an important role in industries as well as in biological fields. That means Metals and alloys are used in the manufacture of vehicles, machineries, machines, electronic goods, and many industrial, agricultural, and domestic appliances. Already, you know that in the house, most of the domestic appliances are prepared by the metals. Okay by steel or aluminum. Next, most of the vehicles are also manufactured by metals. Electronic goods and many industrial machineries, agricultural goods, all are manufactured by metals. Next, they are also used in, metals are also used in making ornaments and in the constructions. Already you know that which metals are ornament metals, mainly silver, gold, platinum. Okay. Generally ornaments are prepared by metals like silver, gold, platinum. Okay. Cheap ornaments are prepared by aluminium, okay. brass, copper like that. Next, as metals are playing an important role in the modern technology, let us study briefly the characteristics related to metals. So mainly, 
metals are playing an important role in the modern technology okay modern technology tools are manufactured by also metals even what we are used chips in the computers like smartphones those are also prepared by metals silicon and germanium okay listen the elements are primarily classified into two types one is metals another one is non metals okay in the periodic table elements are classified into four types s p d and a block elements except p block elements remaining s d a block elements are metals metals play an important role in industries as well as in biological fields metals and alloys are used in manufacture of vehicles machine machines electronic goods and many industrial agricultural and domestic appliances they are also used in making ornaments and in the constructions as metals are playing an important role in the modern technology let us study briefly the characteristics related to metals okay, next metals are characterized by low ionization energy electron affinity and electron negativity what is the ionization energy the amount of energy is required to remove the electron from an atom is called ionization energy so metal ionization energy is less or low next electron affinity what is electron affinity the amount of energy is released when electron is added to the atom the amount of energy is released when electron is added to the atom that is called electron affinity metals electron affinity is also low next uh, electronegativity what is the electronegativity okay bond pair of electron is attracted by the nucleus that is called electronegativity that electronegativity values are also less for the metals this is about the brief introduction of metals okay next we discuss about characteristics of metals okay what are the characteristics of metals first we discuss about first one all metals except mercury or solids at room temperature mercury is a liquid metal if we take physical state of metal is solids what is the physical state of metal is solid except mercury mercury physical state is liquid okay all metals or solids at room temperature except mercury is liquid at room temperature okay next one they have brilliant metallic luster what is the metallic luster means shining property generally if we cut the iron if we cut the iron that have shining property when freshly cut okay when iron metal is by freshly cut that has shining property no iron metal is kon fresh cut chesina le then kaithe shining tho manaku indi mana observe kuda chesi untam most of the metals manu fresh cut chesthe but shining ane tondi di untundi even gold silver also next one they are good conductors of heat and electricity metals are good conductors of heat and electricity suppose if we heat the metal that metal temperature will be increased manam general metals lone ayaka cooking cheskuntam aa cooking cheyadaniki manaku iskune twenty items heat kavali vaatini manam metals tho prepare chesina twenty utensils lo prepare cheyali aa utensils nu wait chesina atlaite baaga heat avutayi so they are good conductors of heat next they are good conductors of electricity also namu aluminum copper potney electricity ni prohibit cheyadaniki isukuntam chudandi okay next one they have high melting and boiling point values okay 
generally metals are solid generally solids melting and boiling point values are high except s block elements s block elements are melting and boiling point values are low why because s block elements are not so hard they are very smooth it means there is an s block elements chala metta ga untai remaining all elements chala hard and strong ga untai next they are malleable and ductile what is the malleable and ductile means what we manam palchani rekulu ga mariyu leda palchani molalu ga vatni saagadiyochu okay they are malleable and ductile okay that means metals are spreaded into sheets and also uh pins like next metals have high densities generally metals have high densities means metals weight is very high okay next they act as reducing agents generally metals act as reducing agent in most of the reactions they form basic oxides metals form basic oxides metals react with water and form react sodium is a metal that form sodium hydroxide that is basic hydroxide connects to aluminum form a basic oxide that is al2o3 like that next metals have low ionization potential electron affinity and electronegativity already we have discussed what is the ionization potential energy the amount of energy is required to remove of electron from an atom that is called ionization potential ionization potential is low for the metals next electron affinity the amount of energy is released when electron is added to the atom so electron affinity value is also low next electronegativity the attracting power of one pair of electrons that is also low for the metals next they participate in chemical reactions by losing of one or two electrons when metals participate in chemical reactions generally metals loss their electrons one or two electrons these are the characteristics of metals okay is an all metals except mercury or solids at room temperature mercury is a liquid metal mercury formula is hg next they have brilliant metallic cluster what is the metallic cluster means shining property when freshly cut metal they are good conductors of heat and electricity they have high melting and boiling point values except s block element metals they are malleable and ductile metals have high densities they act as reducing agents they form basic oxides next metals have low ionization potential electron affinity and electronegativity next they participate in chemical reactions by losing one or two electrons this is about the characteristics of metals next we discuss about the distinguish between metals and non metals already we have discussed characteristics of a metals what are the physical state of metals solids at room temperature so except to mercury all metals are solids at room temperature what is the physical state of non metals they are present in solid liquid and also gaseous state non metals present in solid liquid and gaseous state also okay metals most of the almost all metals are solids at room temperature non metals present in solid liquid and gas yes, state next metals they are good conductors of heat and electricity anni electricity ni vaddi gunda vasarimpa chestai next what ni wait chesina tarate baga heat avutai so they are good conductors of heat and electricity non metals they are insulators they are not good conductors and not good electricity good. they are not good conductors of heat and electricity non metals next metals already i have explained they are hard and strong metals they are hard and strong so 
metals density is high next non metals they are soft and weak non metals soft and weak so density is low next ionization potential electronegativity electronegativity are low for metals already i explained ionization potential electron affinity and electronegativity are low for metals next non metals ionization potential electron affinity and electronegativity are high for non metals ionization potential electron affinity electronegativity are high so what is the already explained what is the ionization potential the amount of energy is required to remove the electron from an atom that is a high for non metals the amount of energy is released when electron is added to the atom that is also high for the non metals okay highest ionization potential is for helium highest electron affinity value is for chlorine next show attracting power of bond pairing electron towards nucleus is called electronegativity electronegativity value is high for fluorine all these are the non metals okay next one generally metals are reducing agents reducing agents means metals give electron to the other elements okay when electron participate in chemical reactions sorry when metals participate in chemical reactions they lost their electrons so they act as reducing agents next in non metals non metals participate in chemical reactions they lost they gain electrons so they act as oxidizing agent well is it metals participate in chemical reactions they lost their electrons or they give electrons to the other elements so they are reducing agents non metals participate in chemical reactions they gain electrons from other elements so they act as oxidizing agents so they are metals are reducing agents non metals are oxidizing agents next they contain 1 2 3 valency electrons that means when metals participate in chemical reactions they lose or gain electrons one or three similarly non metals participate in chemical reactions they lose or gain electrons four to seven so the metals contain one two three valency electrons non metals contain four to seven valency electrons the density of metals is high why because they are hard and strong next the density of non metals is low why because they are soft and weak next they form basic oxides metals form basic oxides sodium form sodium hydroxide magnesium form mgo all these are basic oxides next they form acidic oxide chlorine is a non metal form hcl hclo4 next chlorine is also a non metal that is also hf sulfur also non metal it is also form h2so4 so oxygen also a non metal so they all they form also so metals form basic oxides non metals form acidic oxides next they have malleable and ductile properties that means they are spreaded into sheets and nails next they do not have non metals do not have such properties like malleable and ductile okay next they participate in reactions by losing of electrons non metals participate in reactions by gaining or sharing of electrons these are the differences between metals and non metals or distinguish between metals and non metals listen metals are solids at room temperature non metals present in solid liquid and gaseous state next metals are good conductors of heat and electricity non metals are insulators metals are hard and strong non metals are soft and weak ionization potential electron affinity electronegativity are low for metals 
एनिजेशन पोटेंशियल इलेक्ट्रॉन एफिडिटी एंड इलेक्ट्रोनिगेटिविटी और हाई फॉर नॉन मेटल्स नेक्स्ट दे आर रेड्यूसिंग एजेंट्स मेटल्स आर रेड्यूसिंग एजेंट्स नॉन मेटल्स आर ऑक्सीडाइजिंग एजेंट्स मेटल्स कंटेन वन टू थ्री वैलेंसी इलेक्ट्रॉन्स नॉन मेटल्स कंटेन फोर टू सेवन वैलेंसी इलेक्ट्रॉन्स मेटल्स डेंसिटी डेंसिटी ऑफ मेटल्स इज आई डेंसिटी ऑफ नॉन मेटल्स इज लो नेक्स्ट मेटल्स फॉर्म बेसिक ऑक्साइड्स नॉन मेटल्स फॉर्म एसिडिक ऑक्साइड्स मेटल्स हैव मेल्यूबल एंड डक्टाइल प्रॉपर्टीज मेटल्स डू नॉट हैव सच प्रॉपर्टीज मेटल्स पार्टिसिपेट इन रिएक्शन बाई लॉसिंग ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स मेटल्स पार्टिसिपेट इन रिएक्शन बाई गेनिंग और शेयरिंग ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स दीज आर द डिफरेंसेज बिटवीन मेटल्स एंड नॉन मेटल्स नेक्स्ट वी डिस्कस अबाउट टर्म्स रिलेटेड टू मेटलर्जी generally metals occur naturally in the free state as well as in the combined state metals reactivity is high that's why metal react with another elements and form compounds so most of the metals occur in the combined state as minerals due to high reactivity okay most of the metal occur in the combined state as minerals why because they have high reactivity but some of the metals occur in the free state those are platinum and gold silver occurs in the free state as well as in the combined state okay silver silver combined state means silver chloride agcl or ag2s galena like that sorry horn silver silver sulfide like that okay terms related to metallurgy now we are discussing okay metals occur naturally in the free state as well as in the combined state actually metals reactivity is high that's why metals react other elements and form compounds so generally most of the metals occur in the combined state as mineral but some metals occur in free state those are platinum and gold silver occur in the free state as well as in the combined state also now we discuss about terms first one is metallurgy already what is the metallurgy metallurgy is a branch of science which deals about extraction of metals and their uses is called metallurgy what is the metallurgy means metallurgy is a branch of science which deals about extraction of metals and their uses is called metallurgy next we discuss about mineral what is the mineral generally metals occur in the nature as mineral so what is the mineral means the naturally occurring material which contains metal either in native state or in combined state is called mineral ee manamu iron nu prepare cheyalanna iron ore nu diskuntam ara iron mineral nu diskovali iron mineral means manamu earth lo తోగినప్పుడు అక్కడ మనకు ఆ యొక్క ఐరన్ అనేటువంటిది నేటివ్ స్టేట్ లో కానీ అంటే ఫ్రీ స్టేట్ లో కానీ లేదా కంబైన్ స్టేట్ లో వేరే మెటల్ తో కలిసి కానీ లభిస్తుంది అంటే ఎర్త్ నుంచి మనము ఎక్స్ట్రాక్ట్ చేసినప్పుడు లభించేటువంటి ఐరన్ అనేటువంటిది ఐరన్ యొక్క మినరల్ ఓకే వాట్ ఈస్ ద మినరల్ మీన్స్ ద నేచురలీ అకరింగ్ మెటీరియల్ విచ్ కంటైన్స్ మెటల్ ఐదర్ ఇన్ నేటివ్ స్టేట్ ఆర్ ఇన్ కంబైన్ స్టేట్ ఈజ్ కాల్డ్ మినరల్ that means which take any metal iron that is present in the earth so we extract that iron from the earth that iron is called mineral okay the naturally occurring material which contains metal either in native state or in combined state is called mineral okay, next we discuss about ore a mineral from which metal can be extracted profitably is called ore okay generally metals contain different minerals metals contain different minerals that means metal occurring in different minerals if we take iron iron available in different mineral minerals iron is extracted profitably from which mineral 
that is called ore of iron a mineral from which metal can be extracted profitably is called an ore ante manaku oka metal ku different minerals unnapudu aa different minerals lo a mineral nunchi metal no profitably ga extract chestamo danni ore antam a mineral from which metal can be extracted profitably is called an ore okay now some table is also given discuss we take three columns serial number name of the mineral formula okay bauxite all these are the ores of metals that means the from the from these minerals metal is extracted profitably so all these are the ores of metals so bauxite bauxite is the ore of aluminum that formula is al2o3 2h2o next zincite zincite is the ore of zinc metal that formula is zno next hematite hematite is the ore of iron formula is fe2o3 next copper glands copper glands is the ore of copper formula is cg2s copper sulfide next galena galena is the ore of lead formula is pbs lead sulfide silver glands it is the ore of silver formula is ag2s silver sulfide next limestone limestone is the ore of calcium that is formula cacu3 next calamin this is the ore of zinc another ore that is zncu3 next so hard silver it is another ore of silver that is agcl next carnallite it is the ore of magnesium formula kcl mgcl2 6h2 next gypsum it is the ore of calcium formula caso4 2h2 next shilly salt feeder that is the nano3 this is the ore of sodium okay what is the ore a mineral from which metal can be extracted profitably is called ore ore is also one of the mineral okay this is about the terms okay, next we discuss about gang or matrix the earthy impurities associated with ore are called gang or matrix in the earth crust the minerals or ores are associated with impurities like sand rock and clay the impurities are called gang or matrix okay generally metals present in the earth crust when metals are extracted from earth crust those metals combine with the impurities like sand rock clay these impurities are called gang or matrix this is about the gang or matrix so listen manamu oka metal nu earth crust nunchi extract chestapudu aa earth crust nunchi extract chestapudu aa yokka metal anetundidi danto kalisi impurities ainatundi sand rock clay untai ee impurities are called gang or matrix so what is the gang or matrix the earthy impurities associated with the ore in the earth crust are called gang or matrix next one flux and slag so the chemical substance added to the ore to remove gang is called flux okay listen flux reacts with the gang and form fusible product this product is called slag so gang is removed from the ore as slag by the added flux <coughs> okay when metal is extracted from the earth crust that metal has some impurities like sand rock and clay these impurities are removed by adding of some chemical substance that adding chemical substance is called flux that adding chemical substance is called flux okay when flux is added to the ore that flux react with the gang and form one fusible product that product is called slag 
the product is called slack so gang is removed from the ore as a slag by the added flux so these fluxes are two types one is acidic fluxes another one is basic fluxes what is the acidic flux means it is used to remove the basic impurities like cao mgo etc examples are sio2 p4o10 etc so listen when metal is extracted from the earth crust that metal contain basic impurities like cao and mgo those basic impurities like cao and mgo are removed by acidic fluxes like sio2 and p4o10 etc so listen earth crust nunchi metal no extract chesina appudu dan lokalo basic impurities ayinatundi coo mgo unnatlayite a basic impurities nu remove cheyadaniki manamu chemical substance ni add chestam aa chemical substance endi flux ayithe aa flux endi manaku acidic flux the basic impurities nu manam remove cheyalante acidic fluxes nu add cheyali so those are the sio2 and p4o10 etc and similarly basic flux same metal is extracted from the earth crust that metal contain acidic impurities like sio2 that is removed by flux like cao and mgo these are the basic fluxes means metal no manam earth crust nunchi extract chesinaapudu dan lokalo acidic impurity unnatlayite aa acidic impurity ni remove cheyadaniki basic flux nu manam add cheyalsuntu this is about the gang flux slag fluxes types acidic fluxes and basic fluxes okay listen gang or matrix the earthy impurities associated with the ore are called gang or matrix in the earth crust the minerals or ores are associated with impurities like sand rocks and clay the impurities are called gang what is the flux and slag means the chemical substance added to the ore to remove gang is called flux flux reacts with the gang and form fusible product this product is called gang slag so gang is removed by gang is removed from the ore as a slag by adding flux by adding flux so fluxes are two types they are acidic fluxes or basic fluxes okay when metal is extracted from earth crust that metal contain basic impurities like cao and mgo those are removed by acidic fluxes like sio2 p4o10 etc next when metal is extracted from earth crust that contain acidic impurities like sio2 that is removed by basic fluxes like cao mgo etc okay we discuss different terms so one is mineral ore gang or matrix next flux and types of flux acidic fluxes basic fluxes next also slag okay next we discuss about concentration of ores concentration of ores okay what is the concentration of ore means already we have discussed mineral what is the mineral okay listen what is the mineral mineral definition is the naturally occurring material which contains metal either in native state or in combined state is called mineral okay generally metals present in the earth crust that metal is associated with another elements in the earth crust that is occur in the native state or combined state and also associated with the earthy impurities like sand clay rock etc so that metal is extracted from the earth that is called mineral 
generally manaku metals earth crust lo pula untai earth crust nunchi manam metals ni extract cheyalante first metal nu unna twenty earth crust nu manam iskovali that is called mineral of metal a minerals different minerals ga manaku untai dantlo a mineral nunchi profitable ga metal ni extract chestamo that is called ore so mana aa yokka ore nu earth crust nunchi teeskunnapudu దాంతో పాటు ఇంప్యూరిటీస్ లైక్ శాండ్ క్లే రాక్ ఎక్స్ట్రా ఉంటాయి అయితే మనము ఆ ఎర్త్ క్రస్ నుంచి మెటల్ ఎక్స్ట్రాక్ట్ చేయాలంటే ఫస్ట్ ఆ యొక్క ఇంప్యూరిటీస్ మీన్స్ గ్యాంగ్ ను మనం సపరేట్ చేయాలి దట్ ప్రాసెస్ ఈస్ కాల్ కాన్సన్ట్రేషన్ ఆఫ్ ఓర్ ఓకే ద ప్రాసెస్ ఆఫ్ రిమూవల్ ఆఫ్ ఇంప్యూరిటీస్ ఆర్ గ్యాంగ్ from the ore is called concentration of ore concentration or ore dressing so listen naturally occurring ores are generally associated with the earthy impurities like sand clay rock etc to extract the metal the impurities should be removed from the ore the process of removal of impurities or gang from the ore is called concentration or ore dressing in listen the naturally occurring ores are present in the earth crust when we extract the ores from the earth crust that ore associated with the gang that means gang means earthy impurities like sand clay rock etc so we remove the gang from the ore the process of removal of impurities from ore is called concentration or ore dressing now we discuss methods of concentration of ore that is fourth flotation method of concentration of ore fourth flotation method of concentration of ore this is very very important okay listen when ore is extracted from the earth crust that ore is associated with earthy impurities like sand clay rock etc that means ore is associated with gang or matrix gang or matrix then that means when ore is extracted from the earth crust that ore contain metal part and gang part so this fourth flotation method is based on the difference in the wetting properties of gang and ore particles if we take the ore from the earth crust that ore contain ore particles and gang means impurities so this process is based on the difference in the wetting properties of gang and ore particles okay the gang particles are preferentially wetted with the water the ore particles are wetted with the oil okay if we take the ore from the earth crust that ore contain gang and ore particles so this process is mainly based on the based on the wetting properties of gang and ore particles so the gang particles are preferentially wetted with the water ore particles are wetted with the oil okay listen first we take ore that is powdered and made into pastry material with water okay when ore is extracted from the earth crust that ore contain ore particles and gang gang particles so first we powder the ore particles and gang particles and made into pastry material with water this is taken into a partition tank next add phenyl lime and potassium ethyl xanthate kelizan kelizan this is the figure of fourth flotation method figure this is the beaker this is partition into two tanks okay first we take ore from the earth crust after that ore contain ore particles and gang particles that is made into that is made into powder and also made into pastry material with the water next 
that first material is taken in the this beaker this beaker here next add add phenyl phenyl telizen phenyl lime and potassium ethyl xanthate telizen a simple first we take ore from the earth crust that ore is folded into that ore is folded and made into phase material with the water that phase material is taken in the this tank and after that we add phenyl lime potassium ethyl xanthate okay water is added and thoroughly stirred by passing the air water is added and thoroughly stirred by passing air with a preparatory tube with a preparatory tube when fourth is produced fourth is produced that means nuraga fourth is produced the ore particles are wetted with the with this fourth the ore particles are wetted with this fourth this floats on the surface and gradually passes into the part of other part of tank where the ore particles slowly settle down the gang particles are wetted by water and sink to the bottom okay, this is about the next uh, phenyl helps to form the fourth lime maintains required ph for the stable fourth and potassium ethyl xanthate help the wetting of ore particles with fourth okay, next sulfide ores like galena zinc blend etc are purified by this method this is about the fourth fluidation method okay listen this fourth fluidation method first we take ore from the earth crust that ore contain ore particles and gang particle so this method is mainly based on the wetting properties of ore and gang particles mainly ore particles are wetted with oil gang particles are wetted with water first we take ore that is folded and made into phase material with water that phase material is taken in this portion of the tank next after that we add phenyl lime potassium ethyl xanthate after that <coughs> stirred thoroughly and after that add water and stirred thoroughly passing the air with a preparatory tube then fourth is formed ore particles are wetted with this fourth nuraga that is passed into another tank at the same time gang particles are wetted with the water that is place or that is settled down at the bottom next when ore particles are passed into another part of the tank when ore particles are reached another part those ore particles are slowly settled down in this portion after that ore particles are separated okay here phenyl is added means phenyl helps the to form the fourth phenyl helps to form the fourth next lime maintains required ph of the stable fourth and potassium ethyl xanthate helps the wetting of ore particles with fourth okay listen mainly this process is used for the sulfide ores the okay, sulfide ores like galena pbs zinc blend zns etc are purified by this method thank you for the listening of this video so what we have discussed in this video lesson here yeah, first characteristics of metal okay next uh, distinguish between metals and non metals next uh, discuss different terms metallurgy mineral ore gang flux flux is divided into two types acidic flux and basic flux next we have also discussed slag next we have also discussed concentration of ore what is the 
concentration of ore okay the process of removal of impurities from ore is called concentration of ore or ore dressing in this concentration of ore we discussed method that is fourth fluidation method